What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of the letter of recommendation series. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was how should you be asking your letter writers for a letter of recommendation? So when asking, it's important to specifically use the terms strong. For example, are you willing to write a strong letter of recommendation in support of my application? By specifically requesting strong, they will tell you if they if they do or do not feel comfortable to do so. Um, the last thing you want is a generic letter of recommendation. Next, are you gonna be asking either in person or via email? Obviously in person would be better if you're seeing them on a fairly regular basis. Otherwise, if meeting in person is not feasible, I recommend sending an email. There's a template that I've linked to in the comments. So take a look at that. And again, be sure to use the word strong, either in person or when you draft that email. In the email, offer to meet in person, but don't be pushy about it. It should be up to their preference. Be sure to specify a deadline. Without a deadline, the letter writer has no way to know when you need this letter and they might get it to you too late. I actually give them a deadline one to two days before I submit. And the reason is there may be problems with uploading the letter and having those extra days ensures that you're gonna be able to submit your application on time. Next are the materials to provide. Regardless of whether you're meeting in person or sending an email, you should provide the following items so that the letter writer can write you the best possible letter. First, an updated CV. You should be constantly updating your CV and making sure that it's relevant and includes all of your recent accomplishments. You should obviously include your MCAT in your CV, but your letter writer may also be asking for a more verifiable source, like an official printout, so just keep that in mind. A personal statement, this would be the same one that you're submitting with your application. Your school transcript for your grades. Make the job as easy for them as possible so include whatever submission materials or instructions would assist them. Letter writers are now generally uploading their letters electronically, so you don't really need to provide a pre-addressed envelope with postage or anything like that. But make sure you make it as clear as possible for them. Generally, there's a printout that you can provide them, which makes the process very straightforward. And lastly, this one's optional only if they ask for it, a personal blurb. Some of my letter writers have asked for a personal blurb as to you know, some accomplishment I'm proud of or things that aren't included anywhere else on my application. I'll only include this if they specifically request for it though. And last, other considerations. If you're concerned about weak areas on your application, it's a good idea to discuss this with your letter writer before they get started. And depending on your relationship with the letter writer, you could even ask for them to address it in the letter. Another thing when you're figuring out who you want to write your letter, it's a balance of name recognition versus how well they know you. So one thing I've done to navigate this in the past, so some letters you may want to co-sign. If you worked closely with a TA or another researcher, you can have them write a more personal, intimate letter and then have the PI either edit it, add his own touches, and then co-sign it at the end for that added name recognition. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one.